Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Is my mic on? Yes, it's on. So welcome to St. Mark's. Today is the third Sunday after Advent. There's a lot of things going on this morning. But before we begin, just want to give you some news about Beth Macapring passing away yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. So keep the Macapring family in your prayers. We're looking at possibly Thursday morning for the funeral, Wednesday evening, late afternoon, early evening for the visitation. So anything that is scheduled, I'm glad you're here, Catherine, because there won't be any main view this Thursday, no communion. We'll probably do it next week instead, but I'll let you know. Um, so I will be looking for volunteers, people that can help with the sound system, camera, and, and, and an usher. So if you're able to help out, please let me know or Michaela know. Um, today, for confirmation, go down to the Sunday School room because you're going to help with the Sunday School program. So council meeting, when we meet today, we'll meet in the council room. We get our room back, take back our territory from the confirmation kids. Uh, next Saturday is the Christmas program dress rehearsal from 11 to noon. Lunch will be provided. Uh, so next Sunday is our Christmas program during worship. And feel free to wear an ugly sweater. We will have our contest again afterwards. So um, are you ready, Peyton, for your ugly sweater? She's ready. People plan this for a year, but I really look forward to this event. Are there any other announcements? Anything that you'd like to share? If not, please stand if you're able for our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. Blessed be God's name forever. Amen. Blessed, now is the time to wake from sleep. Let us confront our sins and confess them to the one who is merciful and just. God of new beginnings, we confess that we have not welcomed your holy reign. We have strayed from your past. We prepare for war instead of peace. We dishonor one another and your creation. Purify us with your refining fire and set us again of love that we may bear fruit worthy of repentance and welcome your coming among us. Amen. People of God, a new thing is growing in our midst, a tender branch, a living sign. By water and the Spirit, you are joined to this wonder. You have put on Christ, and your sins have been washed away. Rejoice in the way of the Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
the walls of all who look to you, Lord God, and strengthen our faith in your coming, that, like Joseph and Mary, may heed your call and walk in your way. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. Good morning. Good morning. Our first reading comes from Matthew chapter 1, Joseph's dream. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. When Mary, his mother, was engaged to Joseph before they were married, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man. Because he didn't want to humiliate her, he decided to call off their engagement quietly. As he was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because the child she carries was conceived by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Now all of this took place so that what the Lord had spoken through the prophet would be fulfilled. Look. A virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel Emmanuel means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did just as the angels from God commanded and took Mary as his wife. But he didn't have marital relations with her until she gave birth to a son. Joseph called him Jesus. Word of God, word of life. We will read Psalms 34 responsively. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be in my mouth. I praise the Lord. Let the suffering listen and rejoice. Magnify the Lord with me. Together let us lift his name up high. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to God will shine. Their faces are never ashamed. The suffering person cried out. The Lord listened and saved him from every trouble. On every side, the Lord's messenger protects those who honor God, and he delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. The one who takes refuge in him is truly happy. You who are the Lord's holy ones, honor him, because those who honor him don't lack a thing. Here ends the reading.
Last week, we heard about the angel Gabriel announcing, to, announcing Jesus' birth to Mary. And she wasn't married yet to her fiancé, Joseph. So if the Gospel of Luke is about the tale of Mary, then Matthew is the story from Joseph's point of view. And today, we finally get to meet Joseph, called to be father in a way he could never have predicted. Now, there's no angel Gabriel here. Joseph discovers Mary is pregnant by someone else. He seems to be a decent person, not wanting to add to Mary's social humiliation, so he thinks he should quietly call off their engagement. But God has a different plan. An angel comes to Joseph in a dream, and he's assured that the baby is a gift of the Holy Spirit. And the baby is destined to be the long-awaited Savior And what's the baby's name? The baby's name? Jesus. Jesus. So here's something interesting about the name Jesus. Now remember, the New Testament was written in Greek. We're getting back to Greek, Eunice. Haven't done that in a while. The name Jesus is the Greek translation for the Hebrew name Joshua or Yeshua. means the Lord saves or the Lord is my salvation. So let's get back to Joseph. So Joseph has a total of three dreams. The first one we just heard about. The second dream is a warning to flee Egypt in order to escape King Herod's evil and murderous order to search for the child. And the third is telling Joseph Herod is dead and it's safe to return back to Nazareth. The story of Joseph is one of commitment, no matter the circumstances there's a great responsibility with parenthood. Even if one is not the biological parent, the role of a father figure is not to be taken lightly. And to be in charge of a child, no matter what that looks like, takes courage, wisdom, grace, and unconditional love. And Joseph was able to take it on with God's guidance and companionship. So let's continue with our second reading for today. Go back to your bulletins. This is from Luke chapter 1. This is Mary visiting Elizabeth. Mary got up and hurried to a city in the Judean highlands. And she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. With a loud voice, she blurted out, God has blessed you above all women and has blessed the child you marry. Why do I have this honor that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Happy is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill the promises he made to her. Mary said, With all my heart I glorify the Lord. In the depths of who I am, I rejoice in God, my Savior. He has looked with favor on the low status of his servant. Look, from now on, everyone will consider me highly favored because the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He shows mercy to everyone, from one generation to the next. Who honors him is God. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered those with arrogant thoughts and proud inclinations. He has pulled the powerful down from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty-handed. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, remembering his mercy, just as he promised to our ancestors, to Abraham and Abraham's descendants forever. Word of God, word of life. Right after Gabriel's visit to Mary, she hurries off to visit her relative Elizabeth, John the Baptist's mother. When they meet, something remarkable happens. The baby in in Elizabeth leaps for joy when Mary approaches. And Elizabeth, bursting with joy of the Holy Spirit, blurts out with excitement, Why am I so lucky? Why am I so blessed that the mother of my Lord should visit me? Even my baby is excited that you're here. 
Mary, you are blessed among women, and so is your baby. And Mary's response is, is one of the greatest songs found in Scripture. It's known as the Magnificat, which is the song's first word in the Latin translation. Magnificat anima meum, mea dominum, which means my soul magnifies the Lord. Mary praises the God who keeps promises, raising up the lowly, filling the hungry, while the rich and the powerful must fend for themselves. And she recognizes that God does not wish the disadvantaged and the marginalized to be abandoned, that God comes to the aid of God's people. The story of Mary and Elizabeth is an example of this. It's one of love, comfort, and support. In their shared unusual circumstances, they find they can walk together with God as companions. So we too can find strength in companions, in companionship and friendships. It can be found in family, whether it's biological or a family that you choose. God chose you to be a companion with God going back to your baptism. And this morning, we get to participate and witness Grayson's baptism. When God adopts him into the family of God, and we pledge to support and walk with him. So before we have the baptism, I invite you to sing our hymn of the day. So can you put that up on the screen? It's based on the Magnificat. My soul proclaims your greatness, Lord. And if you're able, please stand to sing. So please be seated. Accept the baptism family. So come around to this side, parents over there. You can stand wherever you need. There are bulletins here so that you can have something to follow along. So if you can kind of pass and share. I did five copies of those. And if you are able, turn to page 227 in your Cranberry Hymnal, follow along with the order of baptism. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. 
by water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Kyle and Kayla, you are called by the Holy Spirit. Trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have Grayson baptized into Christ? Yes, we do. Will you bring Grayson to receive the gift of baptism? You are entrusted with these responsibilities, to live with him among God's faithful people, to bring him to the word of God and the Holy Supper, to teach him the Lord's Prayer, the Creed and the Ten Commandments, to place in him the hand to place in him hands in the Holy Spirit and to nurture him in faith and prayer so that Grayson may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others and the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help Grayson grow in the Christian faith and life? Sponsors, do you promise to nurture Grayson in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit to help him live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church. We do. Congregation, now it's your turn. People of God, do you promise to support Grayson and pray for him in his new life in Christ? If so, say we do. We do. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I do you renounce the ways of sin and that draw you from God? I do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Yeah. Don't be afraid, it's only water. <laughs> we give you thanks, O oh God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters. And by your word, you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea, you led your people in Israel from slavery into freedom. And at the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raised us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let's baptize this little baby. Grace and Kyle, I baptize you in the name of the Father. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'll wipe you off too, Dad. Okay. <laughs> Here, you can hold on to this. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Grayson with the gift of, the, of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, 
and the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Grayson, child of God, you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Amen. Now it's time for fire. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Let us welcome Grayson into the body of Christ. You can return to your seats and please stand if you're able for our prayers. As we prepare for the fullness of Christ's presence, let us pray for a world that yearns for new hope. Gracious God, we rejoice in the gifts of your spirit Equip the global church to magnify your love and peace in every land. We pray for the work of the Lutheran World Federation and ELCA Global Mission. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Abundant God, we rejoice in your creation. Revive lands we have squandered and depleted. Make gardens flourish in cities and neighborhoods. Cleanse polluted air and water so living things may breathe, drink, and praise you. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Righteous God, we rejoice in your justice, end racism and oppression. Deliver all who are unjustly imprisoned or persecuted. Reconcile nations and peoples in conflict. Help us pray for our enemies. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Healing God, we rejoice in your compassion. Comfort any in distress because of worry, illness, or loss, especially Vicki Achenbach, Vicky. Ruth Ann Graham, Jean Schroeder, Jean. Ken Carlo, Ken. Patrick Kester, Patrick. Lou Nelson, Lou. Sandy Miller, Sandy. Barb Schulte, Barb. Dave Greckel, Dave. and Mike Hushka. Mike. Strengthen and protect health care workers, rescue teams, crisis counselors, and all who risk themselves to keep others safe. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be a blessing with those celebrating birthdays in the upcoming days. Jace Johnson, Jace. Maggie Hochstein, Maggie. Lonnie Eisenhower, Lonnie. Les Jessen, Les. Kasten Fuhr, Kasten. Julie Dother, Julie. Jerry Achenbach, Jerry. Sarah Boucher, Sarah. Sophie Jindra, Sophie. God in your mercy, hear our prayer. Abiding God, we rejoice in your company. Give us calm and patient hearts as we gather with family and friends. Keep us mindful of those for whom this season is not happy. Console the grieving and surround them with loving support. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Faithful God, we rejoice with Mary, Joseph, and with all the saints that your mercy endures for all generations. Look with favor on those who have died, especially Beth McAprang, and lead us to joyfully sing of your everlasting promises. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
God of our longing, you know our deepest needs. By your spirit, gather our prayers and join them with the prayers of all your children. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all. Share a sign of peace with those around you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. You comforted your people with the promise of the Redeemer, through whom you will make all things new in the day when he comes to judge the world in righteousness. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church and earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 my heart, my heart adores you. My heart is glad to say the words, you are holy God. Holy One, the beginning and the end, the giver of life. Blessed are you for the birth of creation. Blessed are you in the darkness and in the light. Blessed are you for your promise to be your people. Blessed are you in the prophet's hopes and dreams. Blessed are you for Mary's openness to your will. Blessed are you for your son, Jesus, the word made flesh. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. With this bread and cup, we remember your word dwelling among us, full of grace and truth. We remember our new birth in his death and resurrection, and we look with hope for his coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy God, we long for your spirit. Come among us. Bless this meal. May your word take flesh in us. Awaken your people, fill us with your light, bring the gift of peace on earth. Come, Holy Spirit. All praise and glory are yours, Holy One of Israel. 
Word of God incarnate, power of the Most High, one God, now and forever. Amen. And gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Please be seated. This is Christ's table. It's a table of love and welcome. It's a table of fellowship with the poor and communion with the earth. So come those of you with a great faith and those of you who wish you had more. Come those of you who have tried to follow Jesus and those of you who have failed. And come those of you who depend on this meal for your lives and for those of you for whom it is a strange thing. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come now, for the banquet is ready.
And may the abiding blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you, preserve you, and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Faithful God, in this meal you have remembered your mercy, bringing heaven to earth in the body and blood of Christ. As we wait for the day when all your promises will be fulfilled, sustaineth and strengthen us by this holy mystery. Guide us toward your promised future, coming to birth in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. God, the eternal word, who dwells with us in Jesus, who holds us in the, spirit, in the grace of the Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen.
Go in peace. Christ is near.